Patients with leukaemia or lymph node cancer who do not respond to treatment face a bleak prognosis. In Switzerland, over 1,100 individuals succumb to these conditions each year, despite the availability of various treatment options. David received the diagnosis of rapidly growing tumours in his lymphatic system just before graduating from school. During the summer holidays, he experienced significant weight loss and noticed unusual swelling in his lymph nodes. Unfortunately, the initially administered standard therapy did not yield any improvement. The treating doctors now face the challenge of determining which among the numerous treatment options and combinations of medications offer the best chances of success for David. In addition to the fact that unsuccessful treatments do not slow down the disease's progression, they also pose immense physical and emotional burdens on patients. The goal of INTERCEPT is to determine which patients respond best to which drugs or drug combinations. What worked successfully for David's roommate did not have the desired effect on him. The two patients differ in many aspects that the doctors want to better understand, down to the cellular and molecular levels. To gain a better understanding of leukaemia or lymph node cancer in children and adults and consequently improve treatment options, patients who do not respond to standard therapy are enrolled in a new programme called the Innovations Clinic by Intercept. The Intercept team is working tirelessly with the collected blood and tissue samples to understand David's specific situation. In parallel with David's treatment in the hospital, his tumour cells, as well as healthy immune cells, are being analysed in the laboratory for their molecular characteristics. Thanks to multimodal single-cell analysis, crucial information at the DNA and RNA levels, as well as the protein composition of individual cells, can be captured, which can then be used to develop various treatment options. High dimensional analysis allows for the collection of vast amounts of data, including information on the genetic activity of individual cells, the role of different molecules, and the interaction between tumour and immune cells. The precise characterisation of the molecular state of David's collected tumour samples and the response of his tumour cells to treatment in laboratory experiments provide meaningful insights. All the collected cellular and molecular data, along with information on cell response to drug administration, are integrated through biomedical informatics, machine learning and computer-assisted analyses. This enables the creation of precise predictions regarding which combinations of medications hold the most promise for successful therapy outcomes. David's results can later be applied to individuals whose tissue samples closely resemble David's on a molecular level, thereby increasing their chances of successful treatment. Intercept is working towards the vision of being able to recommend and implement tailored therapies with the highest chances of success for all affected individuals in the future. David's treatment is successful and with only a six-month delay, he can complete his schooling. He will continue to be medically monitored to ensure that the disease remains under control in the long term. He looks forward to the future with optimism, whether he plans to go to university immediately or perhaps earn some money and travel first is something he has yet to decide.